Hey guys, it's me Kevin Who. Today I'm back with another video and I'm sorry that it's been a while since my last video, but yeah, that happened. So, here I'm creating an Area 51 raid game and I hope no one's done this before because oh no, if they have. So, now yeah, I also had to make a custom loader for all the images cuz I needed to cut them out of a bigger image. So, yeah, a lot of stupid stuff that I probably could have gotten away with if I wasn't focused on optimizing this as much. So as of currently, it was easy to break an Area 51. That was hopefully soon to change when I added some cops or guards or whatever you want to call them. I don't have a skin for any of them. All the NPCs look like the player, which is the alien sprite, but okay. So I was rambling on for a bit there, but... Now we're adding the car, or the van. This van will basically drive from the, like, side all the way to the Area 51 gate. Maybe you could sneak in on the van or something. So far, um, you can hijack it. So basically for, like, quite a long time. The van was driving backwards, sideways, diagonal, not diagonal, but all the ways it shouldn't be driving and the image wasn't updating, so obviously needed to fix this. And what do you know, here it's fixed, so we can move on to the next thing. So while we code, I have a few things to say. Some people may say this is now irrelevant. It is not, I assure you this. By Google Trends, there were always people searching for Area 51, it just rose in popularity when the raid became a thing. So it's not irrelevant, but it's going to be not as searched for as I would have hoped it to be. So I'll give you the news, I added a death screen, and it doesn't look so good. So yeah, it works now, you die, you can die by getting run over by a van, you can get killed by a cop, I'll add that later. And you can also get shocked to death on an electric fence. Other than that, there's no other way to die. I'll add more, trust me. Now I'm doing some very minor scaling of the van, and we should be set with the van. Oh, oh boy. I just got an idea. Um, let's go implement this. We're adding traffic cones, guys. So what you see on screen right now is um, a editor that I built for images. So basically, what can it do? Well, it's basically just a drawing tool. But the reason I made this and it's better than paint is that it selects random colors within the range to actually place down when you're placing the colors. It may seem complicated, but basically it shades it more than one static color throughout the whole area. Which is nice because doing it manually hurts and it is painful. So yeah, that's why I made this thing. So basically what you're seeing on your screen right now is that I'm adding traffic cones. You can pick them up off the road and place them, but once they're placed, what do they do? The van won't drive and you can hijack it. And that's added already. So I also tried making some music for my game. Now I've made quite a few games, quite a few everything. Not once have I made music, because I can't make music, so here that is. Well, well, you know, it wasn't that good, so yeah, if you want part two of this, then 